Hello everyone. In this video, we will try to see how to host a service. Like in our earlier videos, we have seen creating a service and hosting and consuming is being done by Visual Studio automatically. It was hosting it and it was creating a client for us. Now, in this video, we will try to see how to host a service. As we have already created a service, we will try to host it. So here we have our service library. So I'll rebuild this. This is what we have done in our earlier video. I'm going to host this. So for that, I need to add a new website. And I'll say WCF service. And I'll name it as my service host. So this is my service host, and here I have service.svc file, and it has got two CS files one is interface, another is the class. I'll remove this. And I'll try to add this DLL in host. That means I want to host this here. So I'll right click and say add reference. I'll say test service. Say OK. So I get the test service DLL. I get the test service DLL. Now in service.svc, I need to make few changes. In service.svc file, here it says the language C sharp debug true. I'll just remove this. And service equals to service and code behind. I'll try to remove even code behind. And service is equals to service is nothing but test service dot my service. That is what I have test service DLL. So in that I have a class called as my service. So here I'll say test service dot my service and I'll save this. That's it. Now I'll save this. Right click on service dot SVC and say view in browser. So it gives us WSDL. If you remember in web services, it was generating WSDL. The same thing we are getting here. There is nothing but your WSDL file. I'll click on this. So now the service is available to me at this URL. And you can see the complete message format. That is nothing but your SOAP. So I have successfully hosted my service. Now I can create a client to use this service. So in our next video, we will see how to create a client and use this service. Thank you very much.